Hey guys, Luton here, and today I'm looking at some Hotwire gameplay. Now, what I wanted to talk about today was that so far, you've heard a lot about people saying Hotwire can be a bit of a RPG cluster, and how it's all just like trip mines and stuff, blowing things up, and that can be true some of the time. But I also wanted to show how good some of the gameplay can be, and I often think that a lot of the time it's dependent on the map and where people are. And once you start to understand the maps and you start to understand what people are doing and the tactics they use and putting down breach charges and trip mines and where they're putting those things, you can evade some of that and you can get on better. And also, like I say, on maps like Dust Bowl where it's just a lot bigger, you have more room to move and so it just works out a lot better. Now, this is actually not the round we're looking at right here. I wanted to show the first round. We played two rounds on the same map and here we are in the helicopter. Me and Fuse and Flame are playing and we're just kind of dominating them with the heli. I've actually upgraded my helicopter guns right now so I've got the mini gun and I have it upgraded so it has a faster fire rate. Okay you can get those upgrades as well. You can also get a uh, cooldown on the mini gun so it takes less time to reload. Uh, I think I might try that up and see how it works out. But basically you can see that we're kind of flying around, we're destroying, we're keeping air superiority which is always a really good thing to do in Battlefield and and we're basically wiping out their vehicles on the ground, their vehicles that are trying to steal ours. Um, but you can see it takes quite a bit to take down even the cars with the miniguns. It's not something like you just burst it and it instantly explodes. It actually takes quite a bit to take them down and we were driving around for ages and ages trying to clip these guys. Um, if you're low and close you can obviously like fire straight in, really focus, but you can see eventually once you wear them down they do go down. But I think this round that we played as well and the next basically highlight what I've said for the longest time which of course every game you play is so much more dependent on the players and what it is they're doing and the choices they're making than any other aspect of the game whether it's the weapons or the mode or any or the map even okay it's so much more dependent on what your team is doing and if they're going to get their act together we had a complete roller coaster ride of games last night where one round we were doing well some rounds were balanced and some rounds were totally one-sided quite honestly like pretty much any battle field game so it's good to see that you can have some rounds where people are working together and it just really varies from game to game uh, something that I have noticed though is that you know even just having three or four guys to play with makes a massive difference in your gameplay I mean we've been running with our sort of three or four squad and often not even like our A team if we were to really put together our proper you know squad team with like Super and Wolf and all the rest of it I'm pretty sure we would be able to have such an impact on any round that it would make it completely one-sided uh, my server is going to be live soon as well and that's going to be good because I can try and actually balance the teams you guys will be able to come and get on board and we'll actually have some really good gameplay so that was the first round and I wanted to show you that because it shows how the air superiority domination thing works so well. However, when we get into the next round we start off and we were like hey let's just roll the same plan and see how we go because we were just having some fun last night we were just grinding it out you know. And uh, so we started off and again just wiping out the helicopter, the minigun is just far superior to the standard guns on the exec helis and so of course we absolutely wreck them. However, here's the key thing. Last round we were keeping the air superiority happening whilst also engaging vehicles on the ground. The rest of our team were doing a good job of actually capping vehicles and controlling them. But now look, our team have almost kind of stopped doing anything at this point. They're, not, they're just kind of driving around and they're not really engaging other vehicles particularly well. And even though they're sort of clipping one or two, you can see how many points we've already hemorrhaged. We've lost a hell of a lot of points. And so at this time we decided, hey, the guys on the ground have not got their shit together. We just need to get in there and help and get things going on because otherwise we're going to lose. Look at this. We are below 50% compared to the other team. We have really lost control of this situation. And at this point we were thinking, I'm not even sure how we're going to be able to pull this back. Because the other team, obviously they, they were not happy they lost the last round. They really wanted to get in and get on and, and get this game won. So that was good as well to see from them that they, you know, they changed up their style in this round. And they were like, okay, let's really push those ground objectives. And, you know, that's, that's what's good to see. In, in any round when you see that you know people have looked at what happened in the last round and then they move on to the next and play up in a different way they may be a more aggressive more focused check this out <laughs> it's like I swear to god our cars should have been like smashed together locked in place that was one hell of a RTA right there Okay, so we're driving down, and of course my objective here is to try and cut off. We need to eliminate those enemy vehicles as quickly as possible and try and secure them for themselves. Um, but of course we first of all have to get them. But check this out, Ugh, that M320. And this is the kind of gameplay a lot of people I think are talking about, where you're just kind of, you start off driving, instantly get destroyed. But then, you know, it works both ways. We're trying to take them down, and as you can see, as I spawn in here, clearing up this little guy right here, I can see a couple of objectives coming my way, get a shot in. And then as he's driving away, I got such a lucky, lucky shot here. So fluke. Check this out. Bam. <laughs> that range as well, seriously. 
What a lucky shot. Okay, so now we have finally actually got some vehicles on the go, and us in cooperation with the rest of our team have actually managed to gain control of the map and take it back. And now we're driving around, we've got crews on the vehicles, and we're just trying to take control, get back into the game. And we have made significant gains in terms of the ticket count, because of course, once we're capturing these objectives, the enemy team are not, and we just need to keep hold of them. Um, this guy right here was really pissing me off, and this is one of the kind of things that you'll see in the game. You see me here saying, Jack, stop being a pussy. Uh, this guy we played a few games with, and he was doing fine on a lot of the games. He was getting some good kills and stuff, but he was playing in an incredibly safe way just sort of he was just doing figure eights around the base right here and it's just like dude we're not here to just do figure eights around the base we want to actually get some good gameplay you'll see this a lot of the time on uh, hotwire people kind of drive back to the base and just start doing this going around around in circles you can actually make it um so that, you know you can actually drive around in a circle and keep up enough speed um, so I'm not entirely sure whether I like that. I maybe think that, I don't know, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't happen that much, but it might be something, in, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. It could be that it requires a tweak, but it could be that it totally doesn't, so we'll just, just see how it goes. Again, sort of just look, keeping them on the go, wrecking those guys, not letting them have any access to our vehicles. Um, the B vehicle has become available, so immediately of course go straight to it and I want to get control back in the game. But overall, Hotwire has played out pretty interestingly. It depends a little on the map. I think some of the more close quarter maps like Downtown obviously play out with you know tripwires and breach charges in mind because people can hide around the buildings and it's generally a lot more kind of closed in. The vehicles are there much nearer to a lot of places where people are spawning and having infantry combat. You have maps like Riptide and Dust Bowl where it's just a lot more open and people are driving around all over the place. And of course it makes it more difficult for that kind of gameplay. Um, you do, of course, get people driving around with the RPGs. Oh, this was a favor of mine. Check this out. Right at the end. I swerve. He just can't be bothered to swerve. Just drives me off the road. I was like, oh, thanks very much, man. Public games. Anyway, there we go, guys. So that was just a, a good little change up of the two different kinds of game you can get. Where one where you're dominating, but if your team are on board with you, it works. If they're not, suddenly it all falls apart. And that's why it's so important to get that teamwork, get that cooperation happening. Thanks for watching today, guys, and I'll have a lot more Hardline stuff coming up, but don't worry, many more things as well on the way. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.